We like to call urology the common denominator of human beings. It's really rare that you're going to get out of this life without seeing a urologist for something. You know, what is a urologist is a great question because urologists sometimes get confused with other specialties that sound like urology. But basically, urologists take care of everything from the top of the adrenal gland all the way down to the end of the urinary system. So who do urologists treat? We treat everybody. Pediatric patients of all ages and also adults, men and women of all ages. Urologists are intimately involved in really, really big, important issues in people's life events. Infertility issues, testosterone replacement, male as well as female sexual uh, challenges, erectile dysfunction, absolutely. Female sexual dysfunction, a little bit less known, but also very important, and urologists also help take care of that. Patients who have urinary problems, obstructive urinary issues, in men and women, women can also have obstruction. And of course, urinary incontinence, really common in women, and also fairly common in men. Kidney stones are so prevalent. About one in four are gonna get kidney stones, and when you do, we're there for you. For our cancer patients, we also meet with radiation oncology, medical oncology, with geneticists, with social workers, and with our survivorship program so that we treat the entire person. Some people want to know in terms of prostate cancer because it's such an important topic, how do we even diagnose that? And one of the ways we diagnose it is by getting a blood test called a PSA test, and that stands for prostate specific antigen. So once we have a PSA, and a rectal examination, we can counsel as to whether he needs to have a biopsy and an MRI imaging or not. When a patient comes in for a urology visit, it's the usual things, which includes a good history and physical, an abdominal examination as well, but a genital urinary examination. So that includes the vagina, the pelvis in women, and testicles, prostate, and penis in men. Often in urology, we need imaging. We need either MRIs, CAT scans, uh, plain x-ray studies, and ultrasounds are commonly done. We get very focused on the first visit to eliminate unnecessary things, and if possible, we will actually do some of those imaging diagnostic studies, especially the ultrasounds while you're in the office. And it's interesting that women uh, usually get a pelvic exam once a year, and men dread coming in to get a, a rectal examination but they also need a rectal examination every year. You should just plan on it. And for those men out there who just don't want the rectal examination, they should just get it. Once those procedures are done, we either give you those results while you're with us, or we bring you back for a follow-up appointment to talk about those. And many of the results that we get from laboratory studies and imaging studies, we call you and give you that information on the phone because we know it's often inconvenient to come into the office.